Kyrgyzstan's Valentina Shevchenko began her combat sports journey at five years of age when she adopted a life that would not only allow her to see the world, but also give her the skills to compete at the highest level. Before women's MMA began to flourish, Shevchenko spent much of her early career spanning Europe and Asia, capturing titles in Muay Thai. In my Muay Thai competition, MMA competition, K1 competition, I was 17 times world champion. After successfully competing in MMA and other organizations, she made her UFC debut on December 19, 2015. At that time, there was only one women's weight division, Bantamweight. She was smaller for this 135-pound division, but proved she belonged with a debut win over a formidable veteran in Sarah Kaufman. In only her second fight in the UFC, Valentina faced future two-division champion Amanda Nunez. She went the distance, but lost a unanimous decision. Her next opponent would be former Bantamweight champion Holly Holm. Valentina Shevchenko, Holly Holm. This is arguably a fight between the two most decorated strikers to ever compete in MMA. Since her loss to Amanda Nunez, Shevchenko proved she was rapidly progressing. And she did it again. Just look at that beautiful counter right hook there. Oh, wheel kick. Shining in back-to-back -back main events against a pair of top five Bantamweights. Well undefeated in the UFC, Juliana Pena has run roughshod through this Bantamweight division. If she gets Shevchenko down, her ability to scramble and dominate position is really key with her ability to grapple and find submissions, and she's only getting better. Valentina Shevchenko cannot allow Juliana Pena to make it her fight. She has to stick and get away from the side of the octagon so that she cannot be taken down. Pena is in yellow and white, Shevchenko in the all black. Pena, high amplitude takedown. And Shevchenko climbing her guard higher. Maybe we'll see her try to rotate those hips, look for an arm bar or a triangle attempt here. Or any type of submission attempt will maybe create some space. As she attempts an arm bar here, she's got enough time to finish it. This is tight. Pena's gonna try and walk her feet over the other side. Oh, there she goes! Top. Valentina Shevchenko by submission! An underrated submission game, Shevchenko getting it done tonight. And in all likelihood, will be next for the champion, Amanda Nunes. Shevchenko would contend for the 135 pound title in a rematch against champion Amanda Nunez. Although she lost a narrow split decision, the flyweight division was created soon thereafter. Oh man, oh. quick hands from Shevchenko. Where she would relocate to emphatically. Valentina just absolutely teeing off. And there's the tap. Flyweight division, say hello to your worst nightmare. Now fighting in a preferred 125 pound division, Shevchenko finally had her chance at UFC gold. She would face former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Young Jacek. Well, you want to talk about a fighter with a lifetime in the game. Enter Kyrgyzstan's Valentina Shevchenko, maybe the best fighter on the roster who has yet to realize a UFC title. That is precisely the opportunity in front of Bullet here tonight. Oh! Ooh. She is fast. Beautiful oh. takedown, Joe. The strength of this woman. She just wants Ooh. to get out of this. But even if she does get out of this, she knows now that this girl's got a grip like a crocodile. I mean, this is a Valentina highlight reel here. Oh! oh back kick. What timing on that. No telegraphing at all. Woo! Another high to take down from Shevchenko. The physical strength and the grappling ability is so evident. So Valentina Shevchenko and Ioana Jacek go the distance. When the UFC introduced the UFC women's flyweight division, many believed it was an eventuality. And now the path to flyweight gold goes through Valentina Shevchenko.